Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. That is a pan of my leftovers from today. I don't know how much I can get out of there. I'm inclined to think that not much. I throw that sticky shovel away. I'm going to give myself something like a puddle of paint. Spread it around with an Oxo omelet turning spatula. Hey you guys, will you watch the video longer please and help me get get my status back on YouTube because I've got 86,000 subscribers but I can only get a couple hundred people to watch a video so that's kind of freaking me out so that's kind of gloppy that paint is must be time to make up some more black <laughs> the dogs are out they've just had their supper my husband has just gone to try his hand at delivering food during this crisis and so far it's slow going because it's the first day I only say that because he usually feeds the dogs and I have to take a break and do that. All right, so what I want to do is I want to take this paint and put the brightest colors in that I can think of that I like because I know that there is some enamel in there also and I am inclined to use my OXO omelet turning spatula. How do I show you guys that? I'm going to try and show you. Sort of like an edge catcher. Maybe if I turn it around, I can scrape it off easier. Because I really don't want to waste any of this. Because there's some great paint in there. And agitated paint will often sell. And I know that this paint has, whoops, <laughs> right on me. This paint has some enamel in it. And after this, I'm going to throw it in the bucket. And if I don't feel like I have enough paint, I will for certain just add some more. And I've got chain and skewers and basting brushes and you never know what could happen. Those two things are bucket bound. I have got, wow, that's the perfect length edge catcher. I've been cutting little acetate sheets off of that to swipe with. And um, what else do I want? I want some strange stuff. I want to use something I've got more of than most other things. So let's just do that. And I made up some copper, but I love, love, love this 24 karat gold with some orange in it. Sounds like the boys have found something. I have twin dogs. It does not imply that they actually get along, because they really don't. I hope that's not the end of some poor innocent creature. It doesn't sound good for the creature. I have a pile of awning um, poles next to me. So, I think I'm going to grab this already well and truly used edge catcher and try and use it. Seldom have I ever started in such a way as to not have completely covered the canvas, but I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I'm going to rock that edge catcher and cover that edge. And I can take the paint off, what are you? Take the paint off the edge catcher if I want to use it again. Or I can use it to cover the end, which I'm going to do right now. I really like that purple and I'm kind of losing it. So guess what? I'm going to use a whole bunch more of it and that way I know I'll keep it. Because even if it disappears via the edge catcher, and I rock the edge, I know I can force it back again. And not only that, I can take all that paint off if I want to. I'm going to let it flow back again for a second. See if I can actually do this instead of just talking about it. I gotta stick my thumb in this. I'm gonna let all that paint go right down back onto the canvas again. So my edge is covered. And I'm wondering what I want to do in here. 
and my instinct says go ahead and be fast and loose with paint. <laughs> Yeah, I love that magenta. I sometimes add some golden magenta to other magentas, but I think that this is um, a product recreated through any magenta you find. And then I add usually some Artist's Loft cheapo big bulk bottles of uh, neon pink to sort of dilute it, but just to make it go a little further. Gosh, I hope I don't hate this. <laughs> But like I said, I haven't gone all the way where I'm going to go yet anyway. And whatever paint comes down there on that side is going right back in. Since there's so much... You know, we've been playing a lot with the basin brush lately. We might continue to do so. I've got gorgeous paint right there. And pardon me while I'm gone for a second. I'm just going to scrape it right onto my painting and make some naturally occurring cells. So, it occurs to me my glasses are not on my eyes and that will help me out a lot to see what's happening. I've got plenty of gold. I am desirous of more of that purple, but I think what, I, what I'm missing right now is that blue. I'm gonna let it go right over the side up there. I also am enjoying that turquoise down at the bottom that I didn't do much with. So, where is that? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. I hope that's not my friend the rabbit. I got a bad feeling about this day. I hope it knows how to hide well. If they catch that rabbit, I'm going to be very sad for a moment, to tell you the truth. So as soon as I'm done, I will be attempting to put them in the house and hoping that I have saved, saved a life. So I'm just putting my skewer in. I'm ultimately distracted now, I'm so sorry. I just want to go over there and stop them from annihilating a life. All right, that's too weird. Not that I don't dislike squirrels or anything, but I kind of wish it was a squirrel instead of my friend the rabbit. And I honestly, I don't know. I have no idea. If I'm quiet, you'll understand that this is just uh, too weird for me right now. You can hear those leaves crunching behind you. That's my dogs running around. Guys, I wish you would give up. They've got a, they've got a three quarters of an acre to hang around in the backyard and they're probably bored silly. So I'm just going to blow into this for a while and see if I can distract myself from what's going on. unlike ever before. So far, they have no joy, which is a good thing for me. All right, so here comes the basting brush because I can. Run, bunny, run. Yep, it's basic brush for me. It's the only thing I could think of to do that would distract me for the moment. As 
So those are pretty cool. I don't want to overdo it. I suppose I could try and swipe some of it too. Yay, they haven't caught anything yet. <laughs> the saga continues. I love it when my dogs are frustrated by not killing something. They don't get much opportunity. They used to live in the Maine woods. God knows what they got up to up there. They never chased any deer, though. Not that I knew of. We were on 11 acres on a, a rented house. All right. So there, I did it again. I did the basting brush. And I'm not apologizing. And uh, I, I love the patterns it makes. So let's just torch. It's been a weird trip. I got five minutes left. If you want to help me out, shop my Amazon link at no added cost. And uh, please watch the videos longer. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me a nice comment if you wouldn't mind. It might cheer me up and keep me thinking I might actually be able to stay at YouTube making videos for you guys. You inspire the heck out of me. Usually I'm a lot less distracted than I was making this. But um, it's pretty cool. Just makes me want to look at it for a minute and see what I might. Might want to put in there to make me a little happier. As far as a waggle goes. Or agitate the paint. Because I didn't torch long enough to really hurt anything. Because the paint is pretty heavy at this point. Because I have some time left, I'm going to go ahead and give myself permission. Oh yeah, you know what? After you basting brush, it's nice to move the paint around, so especially if there's a heavy layer of it, that's pretty cool. It's not going to keep me from doing that and thinking about doing it somewhere else, actually. Well, things are a little quieter right now, which makes, which is kind of a relief to me because I didn't want to be witness to murder. So that makes me want to go over this way. And I'm doing this because I can. Just as soon as I'm done with this, doggies are going in the house. Let's try a little bit. Whoa. That was a whole lot more than a little bit. <laughs> Let it move in a bunch of directions. I like that. Let's use some uh, darker orange. Ah, same difference. I cut the tops off a long time ago and then I forget. That's gorgeous! I'm super stoked. Kind of want some darker purple. I've got that over here. I don't have to dump my bottle over. over. I'm almost done and I should tell you guys if you share my videos I really appreciate it if you want to check out Facebook Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is the place for students We're really pleased with how this turned out I don't think it's that hard to do basting brush and it will save the worst of things and um, what else do I want to do to that one more thing maybe I think black could go in here too but I don't really know that I want to put it in there And am I done? So what else can I tell you? I have Teespring clothing under the video with all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And uh, there's Facebook Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. 
totes and more. If you want to visit my uh, Fine Art America or Pixels.com, you can check out the Shop Now button. It'll take you right there. I'm going to torch this again. And um, this was fun. This was a lot of fun. The, uh, the hunting dogs, not so much. The painting, yes. Got some beautiful little cells because there was some enamel in there. Got a lot of great patterns. There's the gold, it's going to be beautiful. I'm really liking this a lot, actually. Torch to release the bubbles in the paint. Look under the video for my Amazon link and shop there at no added cost to you and it helps me out. My Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links are under there as well as the PayPal and Patreon if you want to help support the studio. There's a $10 minimum to get in the monthly drawing where you can choose one of the five paintings that you will see in the exhibition video placed on the end screens of every video in the last 20 seconds. If you look for it on my channel, you will find the community board where tomorrow's video is posted late at night. You will also find playlists and created playlists that account for 1,310 videos. Woo! We got 86,000 subscribers and if you want to check out those videos, they're organized by genre. There's 13 lists of genres of orbs or scapes or geometrics or abstracts. Uh, there may even be a basting brush category shortly. You never know. Um, also, there are videos organized by the hundreds, and there are 12 lists of that, of, of 100, and then um, one being populated. I've completely made all of my crib sheets go away, so whatever I'm forgetting you'll see in another video. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. And thank you for all of the support you've given me and helped keep me painting here at YouTube. I love bringing you stuff. You guys inspire the heck out of me. And I love you dearly. I want you to take care of yourselves, be cautious, stay safe at home, and I'm where I belong, where I belong, and uh, this, we'll all get through this together. I love you guys. Hang in there. This will end some point in time. Things will be better. Bye for now. Priscilla out.